Immortals, I am Jensen and welcome back to Gas Station Simulator. We're going back into our beloved franchise, of course titled <laughs> and we are going to be trying and selling as much gas as is humanly possible. We're going to sell more gas than a, um, a bad chili. You think so? You're so limited in the grocery store. We were just debating whether or not uh, Gas Station Simulator has more to do than then, uh, what is it called? Supermarket Simulator, right? It's, they're different games. They're completely different games. I feel like this one is kind of like jank in all of the weird comedic ways. So here I've got the setup, right? We've got Charlotte. She is basically on refueling duty full time. And in her spare time, oh, my head, uh, we are going to have her doing mechanics. And the reason for that is mechanics is where all of the money is made. Literally all of the money is made in mechanics. Uh, we are going to manage the checkouts until, of course, we get ourselves an employee to manage it for us. And until then, we're going to have to do it ourselves. I think we can kind of, like, afford it now. But we still need to be able to get the trailer or something like that. What was it? What was it? There was a reason. So, employees, we need another one under the higher screen. What was the limitation? This guy uh, sucks. This lady actually, um, Emily, she's level two and everything. I'm going to hire her. No spoilers. Okay, so we need to purchase the trailers. And to get the trailers, do we just hit buy? It's 500 bucks. You need to upgrade your station. So that's what we're working towards. Gotcha. Upgrade. So, gas station level three. We have this. We want gas station level four so that we can get ourselves a single caravan. For the next employee, we need 1,500 bucks. What else do we need to do? Is that literally it? We only need the money. We have that money. We actually have that money. Oh, I think this lady just farted. All right, let's get ourselves out. Rubbish bag out. All right, good. Throw that in the bin. Excellent. And get this right here. Boop. Nice. Oh, name a famous person? Chris Hemsworth. Oh, my head. Uh, he is always on my mind. He is a very, very sexually attractive man. Wait until you unlock all the other stuff. You start making real money with the slot machine. I hope you mean slot machine and not slit machine. This is not that kind of game, my dude. I mean, we don't even have hookers in our bathroom here. Like, we don't even have a single hooker in our bathroom. I have played this game before, though. Um, I tried playing it years and years ago. I think I was streaming it on Twitch. Or maybe I was just playing it privately. I basically got up to the point where you feed the alligator in the sewer. All of the trash. He's so fine. He is, isn't he? Either him or Scott Adkins. Scott Adkins is a, a, a big second. Big second in my eyes. Everything else is counterproductive. Car washing, it's... Fiddly. Oh my god. Hello there, Elon Musk's father. I didn't expect to be um, greeted by a billionaire. Okay, I'm not even going to bother with the with the airstrip DLC, because quite frankly, it doesn't do anything. Uh, I'm going to wait until... Oh, that's right. We need to fuel three more cars, and then we'll be able to upgrade the store. That's where we left it at. All right, let's get Rudy to pick up all of the sand. I've played a bunch of this game already. I know all of the ins and outs of it. I know what's worth doing and not really worth doing. For example, that little car racing minigame over there with a the remote control car, not worth doing in any way, shape or form, ever. Start getting every upgrade you can ASAP instead of going for the long-term goal. I feel like maybe we should focus on getting as many staff as possible. Whoops. And then we should probably focus on the potential of getting some other upgrades, right? Okay, we're empty here. Gonna have to refuel our can. Please? Good. Fill her up! Excellent. Yeah, I know the upgrades are really, really good, um, but sometimes you need... To, I, I feel like it's hard to explain, but when you're right at the start of a game, especially a simulator game, the best thing you can do is have as many moving parts as is possible running at once. Because if you have all of the things generating money at once, it tends to offset the cost of just getting one or two main upgrades. Because then you are not spreading yourself too thin. Carl Urban, oh, he is nice, isn't he? I do like him. I loved him in Doom. I didn't like Doom, though. I didn't like the Doom film. Rob every single customer video, uh, vehicle. We'll do that if we actually have the time to do so. Because I kind of want to rush getting as many car parks as possible, and I want to get that car wash uh, uncovered ASAP too. Okay, we'll call the engine. Rudy's overheating a little bit. 
Yeah, we want to get these sand piles off. I've turned these sand piles off. What the hell is going on? I didn't do that turn. I don't even think we can turn that fast. Weird. But yeah, as soon as we get this uncovered, it is a bit of a cash cow. I don't know if staff can do it, though. I don't actually think that is possible in the game. Okay, we've got three customers at the cash register. They're not going anywhere. We've got a single customer at the fuel station. And once we get our employee to fuel that one single car, we should actually be good to hire the second employee who can manage the tills and also clean up the place. It's going to be a really good idea. Okay, excellent. Done. We are getting out of here. We're off. Nice. You'll see an edit of him soon. What, Chris Hemsworth or uh, Scott Adkins? We've also got this scare bear right here as well to jump scare anybody that comes in. I think we found this in the back of a customer's car. Don't know how it fit. How's our cigarettes doing? Pretty good. We're only selling big ticket items and easy items that we can scan. Okay, no one's here. Let's hire the employee. Let's get another employee. And we should be golden, right? Let's upgrade our gas station right here. Done! Thank you very much for the confirmatory sting. Okay. So, now that we've done this, we are going to keep Charlotte doing what she's doing. We are going to upgrade to get the next trailer, if we can. If we can afford it, 500 bucks? Yeah, we've got 50 bucks left. Done, we got that. And now, let's hire Ricardo, because he is uh, level three at almost everything. Actually, this guy is... This guy's not only cheaper, but he's better at everything that we want. Actually, we may as well just get Juan, right? We get Juan. It looks like he needs the job significantly more than Ricardo, who looks very confident with himself. Juan looks severely dehydrated, so let's hire him. I, it, that's called a pissy hire. Chris Hemsworth? Yeah, nice. I love, I love Chris Hemsworth fanfics. Okay, so now that we've got him, let's go into the employee's schedules. We kind of want this dickhead's primary job to be handle the register and secondarily clean up the whole station. Sweet Jesus. Oh, I didn't realize the cost goes up for uh, them doing that. That's fine, though. We'll keep. We'll pay him automatically. It'll just come out of uh, his wages. Okay, we can't use that right now. Perfect. Charlotte is fueling people up. Excellent. Nice. I think it would be best for us to go ahead and improve the paint job of this place, right? So what is this? This is just like a nice poo brown. Okay. We'll get a nice poo brown. Uh, this one right here, I think. Paint up here. Whoa! Whoops, we made a mess. I forgot how to do this mini game. Nice, that's added another chore for us. But fortunately, it's not our responsibility to clean up anymore. It is now Juan's responsibility to clean up. Feels good. Feels good knowing that we just hired somebody to do all the crap we don't want to do ourselves. <laughs> we can literally do anything we want now, by the way. We can just generate a little bit of money. We can go check out the DLCs a little bit better than we can. Than we could. Okay, I wanted to sprint, not choose a color, but thank you very much, game. Uh, we've got to keep the same color scheme here, so let's go with um, this delightful candy pink right here. Nice. Excellent. Oop. Almost just put paint everywhere. Juan would have hated that. All right, good. Paint that. Oop. Damn it. I just got painted on. I just got slimed. Okay, and we're also going to need a nice orange post in the corner over here as well. Ah, he gives off a, re a badass real man persona. When I said to play this, I mean after you finish the grocery store, just so we're clear, playing what you want to play. I, I do want to play this. This has not only been requested a couple of times, but it's been requested a couple of times by different people. You are literally the third person in the last couple of months to ask me to play this game. So here we are. I'll give what the people want. Like a grocery store simulator. I'm really just kind of getting through that to fill in time until I can set up Fallout London. Because I've got a billion mods in my Fallout 4 copy right now, and I do not want a billion mods on that. All right, looking pretty good. We can go inside. We can start painting the inside. Oh, my head. Uh, we can start painting inside here. Juan, why aren't you cleaning up? You idiot. What am I paying you for? Get off your ass and do your job. Dumbass. You hear that? Someone's tooting at you to finish your job. Damn, this guy's buying a lot of stuff. Oh my god. 18 bucks, that was it. All right, fine. Oh, well, don't take too long, Juan. There better not be any bugs in here. Why'd she sound British? We're in Las Vegas. 
All right, Juan, I'm gonna paint your ass. Maybe not. Maybe we should reprioritize the whole cleaning thing, right? I think that maybe if we set him up to clean full time and then serve people at the checkout when he's not busy. Nah, we'll just do it the way we're doing it now. That's probably a little bit of a better idea. Uh, they are about to clock off though. They are pretty close to... Why the hell does it keep asking me to change the colors? Oh, we can also paint the garage. Nice. All right, let's do that really quickly. We'll, we'll do a paint on this garage. I'm thinking hot pink. I think hot pink on the garage. Like racing pink. All right, good. Let's get this done and dusted. Nice, thank you for the chores. And we will keep painting in here next. Excellent. We probably should go ahead and rush the upgrades for the mechanic. Whoops, I keep trying to sprint and it doesn't work. Essentially, we do just want to rush the uh, upgrades for the car because we're not actually the ones fixing it at this point. Oh, I mean, we could be the ones fixing it now because Charlotte's about to go to bed. She's clocking off right now. Whatever she's doing now is completely unpaid. Awesome. I'm glad she finished her job first, though. Okay. Hey there, officer. Let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know. We'll refuel this car, but first, I think it might be a good idea to see what is... The hell was that sound? I'm going to see what's in the trunk. Awesome. I played Skyrim once. Here we go. Okay, we found $8.73. There's another cop car right here. Sucks to be them. Ah, well, glad I'm not a cop in Las Vegas right now. Uh, our phone is ringing. Begin of my ass! Okay, almost. Oh, this is an intermediate lock. Gotcha. We got a drug dealer simulator poster. Great. That's another game I have. I don't think we can pick this one, right? It's a flatbed. Okay. What's next? Uh, master lock. Don't mind if I do. I'll try. I'll, tr I'll try. I love how all of our lock picks refresh as well every time we pick. Okay, good, done. Got a porch photo. It's weird. Okay, we've got a locked trunk right here. Let's just go ahead and wiggle this open with the old the old rake. Good. And another locked car right here with a master lock. Get this one open. Wonder if there's a stone of Baron's eye on this one. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Sweet spot! Or sweet spot! I don't know, it really depends on how fast I'm doing this. Or if, the, if there's any punishment for it. I'm skimming this torn to crap book. It's pretty clear and apparent that it does the very damage that the author has stated that she would like to prevent. I don't understand what this book is, actually. Maybe it's just sarcastic fear-mongering. Which one is cuter? Liam or Chris Hemsworth? Easy, Chris. Easy, Chris. I think Liam takes himself too seriously and he got The Witcher 3 cancelled on, on account of it being bad. So, honestly, take from that what you will. Okay, I'll put the pump in here. Yes, I'm going to go and answer the phone, by the way. Good. Done. Let's go over here. Boing! Can we move this? No. No, we cannot. Okay. Hello? 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 I'm trying. Uh. Oh, apparently I also can't, um, follow the next quest line because the current tasks are to buy a communication headquarters and I can't actually switch between any of the, uh, any of the quests I have? Is there a quests page, maybe? No, it's probably not, right? I know it says unbound, but if we go into our settings, right, we take a look at the controls. There is not actually... Uh... Two bindings, please? Yeah, let's, let's set those. Okay, here we go. So I don't think there is actually any way to set it. It just says unbound, and it doesn't let you replace the button. Yes, there is no button that allows us to switch what the quest is. Hello, it's me, God. How are you? Hey there, God. I haven't been asked to uh, sing a song I've never heard before in, in a long time, and nor have I uh, had anybody demand to do things from me. Like, make the mods. Okay. Why did they put that bottle on the upside down? I have no idea. I will never know. Awesome. Piss off, lady. It's got flamingos on her shirt right there. I don't really care too much about that. Okay. Liam Tensworth is the only Q1 in the Hunger Games. No, I'm not a nerd. I was never like, I like the Hunger Games books, but I, I never really clicked. It's what it's probably the most blockbuster series that I never necessarily chased myself. Gotta be said. 
Like, it's a good series, objectively, and I understand that. Whoa, that was close. It's also, you know, well-written and stuff like that, but I, I just never clicked on it. I feel like the Hunger Games movies kind of focused on all the wrong things, which was just the action. Oh, my face. Okay, this is disgusting. Maybe we should call it Bin Man, now that we've got a full-time cleaner. Oh, would you look at that? Everyone's throwing trash on the ground. Okay, I'm going to swap Juan's prioritize, okay? I'm going to go ahead and let's get Juan to clean the station as primary and then handle the register when he's not doing anything. I think would be a really good idea. You have a very sensible head on your shoulders. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I do my best to not sound like a, like an, oh, what do you call them? Loose units. We call them useful units here in, in New Zealand. But there is a, there's another a word that we, that other people, lunatic? No. It's not lunatic. Volatile? It's close to that. I can't remember what it is though. All right. Good. Uh, we still need to paint the store out here. Apparently our car here is getting a little bit low as well. We probably should be re-upping on that. We can't afford to as well. So we probably should do that. Let, let's take inventory. Let's take inventory right now. We'll let the, um, we'll let the house fall to shambles and we'll check out our inventory. Hello there, Matt. Uh, what do you need done? Not a hell of a lot. Okay. We had lighting texture right there. A single tire replacement. Okay. No wing mirrors, no scratches. Lady, why did you even come here? Okay, fine. Oh, we don't have any tires. That's fine. We also don't have any wing mirrors, nor do we have any scratch, Doctor. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's go buy all of that stuff. Hello there, sir. Uh, so, delivery, right, of parts. We need tires. We can only buy them in lots of one, unfortunately. I'll get like eight, I think. Scratch remover. We'll get like eight. Car mirrors. We'll get six. I'm not going to get any duct tape because it's worthless to us. Yeah, this is way more expensive than we can afford. Right. That's part of like the issue that I keep coming into into this game, which is you don't ever get enough money. That'll do. You don't, you don't ever make enough money. You can't set the prices on anything like that, which is a little bit strange. Okay, we want to place all this tobacco. Because it is a big ticket item. Uh, car care, again, not really too worried about it. Uh, this lady over here is wearing sunglasses at night. She's probably high off her tits on meth. Let's face it. I mean, I'm not one for stereotyping, but she is definitely high off her tits on meth. Poor girl. <sighs> Talk crap to everyone in the game. Please be super hard on your employees and harass every customer you move from point A to point B. My dude, have you seen the King of Retail series I did? I did exactly that forever. <laughs> don't buy tires everything in the garage makes you like four bucks and bills are hundreds yeah but the it increases the turnover the turnover oh there's a card over there if it increases turnover it increases profit that's the thing i found a card great oh i think i found another one oh, actually nighttime's a really good time to be walking around in the desert looking for these cards because you can see them as opposed to before where you you couldn't necessarily see them what the hell is that I'll take that card. What is this? Is this just a part of the horrible little drone race? Oh, look, a card. <laughs> They're literally everywhere. What do you mean, don't buy tires? What, what are your cash cows? Because it sure as hell isn't selling anything from the, um, from the store itself. The hell is that sound? Weird. Okay. Super sus. Don't know what I was just looking at. Okay, there's a purple thing in here. I'm pretty sure this is how you start the game. Yep, I hate this game so much. It doesn't work. Trust me, you'll never have any money to keep the important money making food in the store. What? You, you think that the checkout is the thing that, that makes money? Hell no, it doesn't make money. It's barren as hell. Making money in here. Although, we probably could expand out our stocks now that we can afford to do so. Simply because we weren't doing so, it was, there were too many little items, right? And they weren't actually making any money whatsoever. In fact, I can do a cost benefit analysis of everything inside of here right this second. We go into products, soft drinks. All right, so 24 bucks for 30 of these, which means we get these for roughly 80 cents each. Uh, I don't know how much we sell them for though. 
Sell price, 60 bucks. Okay, so we double the price on these tiny drinks, but we need to sell 30 of them to actually get that money back, right? If we, we get more than double, so if we sell of the 24, 10 of the 24, we've made the money back, so we can't actually replenish the stocks of this one item right here until we sell those 10. That is, that is the major issue. Trust me, you'll never have any money to keep the important. You'll struggle relentlessly. People will buy anything and everything if you pour all the money into the shelves to have more items. Ah, okay. I'm, okay, so I'm starting to see exactly what you're talking about here. This, the main issue is that you can't change the price of these articles, which is a little bit frustrating. Why the hell did you just close all the way out of the delivery menu? Okay, snacks here. These, we, basically, these are a dollar, right? We sell these for a dollar, don't we? A dollar. We sell the entire pack for $51. And if we buy it for $31, then we're making less than a dollar per article. And that less than a dollar per article is also increasing the amount of time that it takes to check out. So that, that's another thing we have to consider. We need to also consider the amount of time it actually takes to check out a single customer. And if you are increasing the time it takes to check out that customer, with all of these crap items that aren't even worth a single dollar to be sold. Again, not really worth it, right? Again, why, why is it kicking me out of the menu? Uh, am I missing something? Ice creams, I've found them to be kind of crap as well. Yeah, I can give you a billion examples, but ultimately, I don't see any of this to be worth it because the checkout with the AI is so slow. And if I do it myself, Nothing else gets done because the AI can't progress the, um, the game itself. So we get 20 of these uh, Cornettas right here for 15 bucks. How much do we sell them for? We sell the whole thing for less than 30 bucks. So we make less than a 100% return on that. The average return that you would generally get on a single article is 300%. That's what supermarkets usually sell them for. You'll always be out of tires. Like all the time, you'll be pissed. You'll never be able to keep tires and stocks. It's maddening. Hire somebody for the gas and check stand. We got someone for the gas and check stand. Uh, we've got, also got somebody who is uh, managing the garage here full time because it is a very, very high turnover place. Oh, we didn't buy any of those things and we can almost afford it now. Wow, Juan's got his work cut out for him in the morning. Well, let's check this lady out right here. Hello there, lady. That's not the kind of checkout I was talking about, but all right. Excellent. Welcome to... I hope you have found all of the items you've needed. I got a great glimpse of your cleavage. Wow. Jesus. I bet she's got like 12 kids, right? She's got to have like 12 kids. Okay, we'll take this here pump right here. We'll jam it into this guy's car. I'm putting diesel in here. Is that okay, ma'am? Yeah, how the hell would you know? <laughs> okay, we'll stick this in here. I find it so weird. Is it actually an American thing to have somebody pump petrol into your car for you? That is so strange. I could not picture that for the life of me. Hello there, Elon Musk's father. How is the emerald mines going? I hope your, um, your slavery is turning an excellent profit this year. Okay, good. Throw all of this here and here and here and here. Awesome. Awesome. Enjoy your drinks. They are also carpet cleaning products. Ah, uh, you're smart enough to know. Where are you going? Take a crap? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Hire someone for the gas and check stand? Yeah. Check, what is a check stand? I swear, if there's bugs... Only in Oregon? No self-gas? What, like, you, you can't... You can't self-service in Oregon? Because that would be super strange. Here in New Zealand, it's weird to even see an employee outside of the main building. The employees here in New Zealand are literally and exclusively made to sell you food and iced coffee and maybe pies. Maybe pies if you're a tradie as well. But other than that, people don't even pay for petrol inside anymore. There's automated checkouts. I am so late. No, you're not, DJ. Don't worry about it too much. We're just watching Juan here, uh, elbow deep in all of this trash. He loves it. He loves the smell of it. He's a disgusting person. I can talk to him. Oh. Cool. I'll pay him his $1.80 as just a real massive inconvenience to him. There you go, Quan. Don't spend it all in one place. Whatever you spend it on. I'm pretty sure he doesn't even leave here. Well, I've got so few customers. 
Fun, seriously? How are you so slow? He needs to level up, right? He'll level up and he'll get really, really fast at it. Okay, this lady's buying some durries. Or some chewing backer. Hard to say. Really hard to say. Okay. Yeah, we've got somebody manning the pumps here, but she also mans the uh, mechanics right here. So if there is a car that needs... As long as we've got the stock to repair cars, that is really, really handy. That is good profit. But if we don't have the stock, she completely ignores that there are cars there in the first place. That's what I like. Okay, let's get a delivery of some articles, maybe. Products, maybe? What have we got? We get some hats and glasses. They're really annoying to get. How much do we sell these for? Oh, these are a yucky profit. Ew! Viking hornless helm. How much do we sell them for? Twenty nine, twenty eight fifty. Ew, brother. Ew. Rancher hat. Okay, this is a. Oh, that's a yucky. What? Seven bucks profit on a thirty dollar article. Are you taking the piss? Why am I even reading the graph? It actually tells you the sell price right here. Okay, cowboy hat. Uh, sell price forty bucks. We make a profit of thirteen. Uh, this Drago style rigged hat. We make a profit of nine bucks. Not great. This one here, make a profit of six. So police hat, profit of 15. That seems to be the highest so far. Viking helmet, profit of five bucks. That's a big no. Rancher hat is a profit of eight bucks. And cowboy hat was a profit of 13. I think maybe we just get fake police hats and cowboy hats. And the, oh, there's more. Okay, drinking helmet. We sell it for 55 buckery booze and we buy it for roughly 35. So that's a profit of 20 with a high turnover rate. Drinking hat seems to be the one to go. Because uh, we want to sell them as fast as possible. This is a profit of $9. That is disgusting. Tinfoil hat. Uh, that's a profit of $11, weirdly, with a low, a low cost. Strange. Okay. I can't refuel the car because there's no fuel at the station. That's lovely, lady. I could not begin to care less. We're going to get lots of these drinking hats and we'll start selling them. How does that sound? Done. Ordered. 355 bucks we've just spent on drinking hats. Okay, services. We probably want garbage collection to come here. Yes, please. And we also want a delivery of fuel. and We'll dump all of what we have into this order. There we go. Done. Not enough money. That's embarrassing. We'll reset this. How about 200? Yep, that'll do. Right. Thank you, Juan. Oh, my head. Great. Whew. I tagged you in the edit I made. Okay, I'll check it out. I need to go. We'll be back. Correct. Only state here that still does it. They are paid to do it and won't allow customers to serve their own gas. I think it's a customer service thing. Uh, you also stuck on another time. That's so strange, isn't it? Oh, my head. That's so strange. To insist that people got to rely on a person. Maybe it's got a, Maybe it's got something to do with kind of like the amount of jobs that are actually available in Oregon. Because as far as I know, it's not a particularly thriving place with its industry, is it? Okay. Now, the reason that I quite like the garage so much, and also we're getting into hats now too, is because it takes so long for these delivery trucks to actually arrive, and if it's not being stocked on the shelves, you're not making money. So... That's an important thing. I think it's better just to make one really big order than micromanage a bunch of really small little crappy orders over and over again. Uh, let's try and buy one of the hat racks. Uh, where would we find it? Management, maybe? No, definitely not there. Oops. Upgrades, tools, features, shelves. Okay, we need hats. We need a hat stand. 219 bucks, Jesus Christ. Be still my beating heart. Okay, I think that was instant. Let's go ahead and see. Was it? I don't see it. Shelves? Ah, oh, yes, okay. So we've got it right here. Uh, let's put, let's make sure that it's really, really hard for anyone to miss this. I think we put it right here. There we go. That is going to be so hard to miss. All right, let's unpack everything. Let's actually see if people can come in now. Hello? You okay, buddy? What are you doing? Oh, I think we've blocked the walkway. That's embarrassing. Okay. Uh, that's not what we wanted. We want to F it up. Good. Okay, I'm going to stick it, like, here. There we go. That should be hard to miss. 
Awesome. Hey there, Elon. Uh, fill her up. I find it really ironic that Elon Musk here is filling cars up with petrol. Because wasn't that like one thing he absolutely hated? Okay. That's not what we want. We want the lever right over there. Got it. Whew. Dump all money into car wash ASAP. It's, it's fiddly though. It's a really fiddly mini game. It's really, really fiddly. And as far as I can tell, we can't get an employee to do it whatsoever. So that would kind of like be something that we would have to use our own diligence in kind of uh, stimulating, right? We would have to massively inflate the value of this car wash by actually doing it over and over again, which means we're not restocking shelves and we're also not restocking the mechanics and we're, we're not restocking petrol. So if any of those run out, we just start losing money. I'm not in Oregon, California. Yeah, that makes, that makes sense. You make 250 per car. Car takes about 15 to 20 seconds. That's actually pretty damn good. Oh, but that unlocks a whole alligator trash fetch quest thing, doesn't it? Oh, like, uh, I get that as lucrative. I didn't find that mechanic very fun. Gotta be said, like, I know that there's a, a fairly large amount of people that would say, hey, that was a good mechanic. I'm not one of them. I am not one of those people. Okay, well, I suppose we'll just do it anyway, right? We'll get Rudy. What the hell? We've got sand in our bucket. But it's... It's down in the down empty position. That's weird. Okay. The goal is to buy the auto car wash. There's an auto car wash? Seriously? Okay, that's definitely something that we're going to be getting. What level do I need to be to get the automatic car wash? The alligator is like once, and then you don't have to clear the trash for hours. Uh, yeah, I, I played this like when they released the car wash DLC. It's kind of like a, a free update, I think it was. And it was so much more frequent than once every half. It was like every 10 minutes, you'd have to go and clear trash. Maybe it's changed. Maybe they got, maybe it patched simply because it was just badly designed, but I don't know. It's hard to say sometimes. Okay, we'll dispose of some of the sand. All that trash is full. There's customers at the register. I'm dumping it. I'm dumping it. We need more employees. I wonder if we can afford to get ourselves some more of the trailers. We've got 240 bucks on us right now. Maybe we could. Maybe we could afford that. Hard to say. Okay, good. Just a couple more of these sand piles to go, honestly. I think there's only a few. Yeah, that went down quite a bit. Trash is still pretty full. Come around here. I do remember that, like, getting the car park maxed out as soon as you can is really lucrative, though. That is something I definitely remember right from the start of the game. Because it increases the amount of people that come in and actually start buying the articles on the shelves. Which I didn't put on the shelves. Whoops. Okay, we'll do that as soon as I dump Rudy back at the, uh, back at the sand pit. That would suck if it's every 10 minutes. Blows brains out. Yeah, that, that was basically my takeaway from the, um, the free update. Was it's not really worth it. Okay, Rudy's almost out of gas. Let's give him a little bit of a momentum. It's crashed. The whole game crashed. Okay. Let's fire it back up and hope it auto-saved. Embarrassing. <laughs> How do we feel about that, huh? We just mentioned the um the the horrible cycling of the uh of the alligator, and the game's just like, don't bring that up around me. I'm done. I don't want to remember it. The game literally just blew its brains out. Oh my god! Oh, this is quite a wee ways back, actually. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll actually start stocking the articles instead of uh, going and moving sand for no reason. Yeah, you need as many parking lot spots as you can and gas terminals. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Hmm. To an extent, like, we're probably going to need more employees very, very shortly anyway. So maybe we could get away with it when we get them, the other employees. Okay, we'll come in here. 
take a look at this. Take a look at the upgrades. No, we want to take a look at how expensive a new trailer would be. 500 bucks? We can't actually get this, which means we can get someone to work through the night for us. It's probably going to be her. Quite frankly, she's probably... We're going to turn this lady into night shift. No, I'm not going to do that. That's so mean. Uh, we definitely have our hat rack. Let's go ahead and place all of these. Why am I holding this? Uh... Wait, can I not put this back on the rack? Are you taking the piss? That was like a hundred bucks! Jesus! This game wishes it could take back the elegant hit a bit. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, we are now selling overpriced drinking hats, which is probably the last thing we should be selling at a gas station, but... You know, that's capitalism, baby. What the hell's going on over here? We're gridlocked. My brother in Christ. What have you done? Uh. Well, that was weird. <laughs> Lady. Oh my God. You did everything wrong just then. Okay, well that was weird. All I heard was beeping and a couple of slurs. Whew. Okay, now that we did that, uh, let's go back in here. The hell are you thinking about? Were you throwing something out or were you buying a hat? I'd say. Okay. We'll start stocking these really big ticket items right over here, like drinking hats. It's probably actually going to be a bit of a cash cow. Maybe we should start stocking other things as well. I'll take a look at the upgrades. We'll, we'll create a bit of a plan. Workshop 2... Don't think that's really going to be particularly useful. Car wash. Okay, so the car wash, right? We need a thousand buckery booze for the car wash. We don't have enough money and we need additional quest progress completed. We already have the level four gas station. Okay, I'm starting to see why the... Why the, uh, why the car wash is so fiddly. Uh, let's go get our... Sorry, I thought the game just put all the sand pits back. We'll go get Rudy. We'll start moving the sand out of the way so that we can get maybe a little bit of progress towards the car wash. Unlock it. It's probably still going to be ridiculously expensive, though. It always is. Every single thing in this game is just ridiculously expensive. Also, who, who created the price fix? Who created the price fix in this game? Who said, hey... No, you can't actually spend any more. You can't sell those articles for any more than that. What a simulator is that? All right, good. I just hit 560 off my first edit today. I hit 1K views. Nice. I love to hear that. Okay, excellent. We'll filter on through here. I'll tell you what. You are definitely growing significantly faster than me. Way faster than me. I've had to put in like a... Uh, 10 to 12 hour days every day for the, since last November just to get my channel where it is now although I did pick probably the most competitive uh, space on YouTube which is the gaming space it's also got the lowest ad revenue as well okay. although it's all I really want to do I don't really want to do anything else with my channel to be honest not yet I'll probably do some cooking stuff in the very near future because I am a very good cook but at the same time don't hold your breath Oh my god, I thought the game was about to crash again. Okay, good. Let's get the sand. Perfect. Okay, we've got the party bus here. Not my problem. I'm moving sand. Hey man, I would really like to know what your thoughts are on a particular channel. I'm the big stubbler about Alan Poots. Pooties. Fairly small and apparently he's getting attention lately. I have never heard of him. Is he like, uh... Maybe it's because his name is Poots. It's a, it's a funny name. It starts with poo. And it sounds like a verb. It sounds like a verb you should not be doing. Haven't heard of him, though. Never heard of him. Okay, we'll come around here. We'll go all the way back. I think maybe we shouldn't sprint while we're about to run out of gas, because it seems as though that is actually the thing that may have just crashed the game. Get our bucket of petrol back out, and we'll fill this back up. Done. 
All of a sudden. Let's get back in here. Okay, our employees should be knocking off in a few minutes. They are done. Okay, that's fine. No more money generation for the day. Unless we do it ourselves. I think we just do the sand, right? Honestly. Oh, you beat me. I was ahead of you for a while. Then you surpassed me in subs by a lot. 600? No, oh, I didn't realize we were competing. Would you like a competition? Would you like a, a friendly competition? I'll do a friendly competition. Although you should know that I, I have 12 hours a day to sink into promoting my YouTube. <laughs> Even if it's the most competitive space in the world. Okay, good. I feel like just having a decent attitude and not being too negative on YouTube is now what viewers want, though. I think that's pretty much it, because anyone can have a YouTube platform. It's just not everybody is positive enough to really maintain a platform that they, you know, should consider worth having. It's not one of those things. I think it might be insane. Well, maybe. You know, some of my best work has come out of uh, friendly competitions. Like, uh, my muscles. I got big muscles. Uh, my friend and I, Carl, we started going to the gym at the same time, and while he was doing starting strength, I just went straight into really, really harsh workouts. I gained four kilos, and now I, I, I look like I speak. <laughs> Although he can run for half an hour. Whoops. You might check him out. He doesn't respond to anyone. He's angry at karma sometimes. Oh, and poots. Okay, okay. Okay, maybe I'll reach out. Although I've only had negative experiences reaching out on YouTube with people. It's just every time I seem to reach out with another YouTuber, they either flat out delete a comment. The comment never got posted in the first place, which is not really their fault. That's YouTube's fault for, you know, kind of having a very, very buggy commenting system. Or, like, at worst, they'll just flat out say no. I don't want to collab with anybody. And then, like, a week later, they'll have a bunch of different collabs coming out with a bunch of different people. That's been my experience. Now, you're, you have a lot of hours than me because I start school on Wednesday and I have to study. Yeah. I don't start school. I do have to study, though. That's that's something that I do, too. I like to upskill at all times. It's it's really good to get into the habit of doing. Even if you're kind of, like, not working or, or doing anything massively career-wise, it's still worth being smarter. You know, it's, it's always worth, like, investigating things or kind of, like, gauging what the world's kind of doing. Although these days I haven't really been learning a hell of a lot. I've just been seeking all of my time into YouTube. Which I suppose has, uh, you know, taught me that I've got a thousand subs. I don't recommend reaching out to him. It's both an act and his real self. Oh, no. Okay, I'll reach out. Why not? What is the worst that could happen? He ends up on an Ompaville video? Oh, no! Oh, baby. Uh, we're almost out of petrol. Gonna have to get out of the car and refuel. We cannot yet, oh my God. We cannot yet afford the new staff member, unfortunately. Good. Checking out this lady's cigarettes. My God, it is so hot where I live here today. Why is that not like consistent? Why don't you stay on the conveyor belt if there are more people in the queue? Wouldn't that just be like common sense? To program into the game. Worried I'd go over budget. You did go over budget. You just bought from a gas station, lady. Hello there, party man. Okay. These party people always remind me of the Sims, like the Sims aliens, the Easter eggs that they put in all of their games. Always reminds me of that. I don't know why. Okay, good. Oh, I get it. They're not from here, which means they're alien. Okay. You're amazing. Thank you. To who? Uh, Ian Pooties. Video post after video post, like five posts a day. Oh, that's um famously annoying to the viewer. That'll do. <laughs> that, that is literally one of the things that you are not allowed to do as a YouTuber because it, it oversaturates what you're putting on YouTube and your viewers hate it. If you're just shovel dumping all of your crap onto YouTube, no one wants to see that stuff. People on TikTok want to see that, only if it's curated as well. Very loathing, yet insightful and intelligent, but seems he's lost, feels the word, owes him a second chance. What do you mean? No one's ever lost anything. There's always... The, you, you don't only... You don't only lose once, and that's it. Every single day is going to be a new day. 
You can always be better. You can always do better. What? Oh my god, she just bought a hat. What a dumbass. Idiot. Oh my god. Twit. Also, your hoodie is stupid. Okay, bye, stupid lady. My piano right here. Just, uh, just pointing that out there. Plonk. Ow, my head. Okay, uh, back to the drawing board with the fuel can. It seems we're going to refill Ju Judy, and after that, we're going to fill up our tank, and then we'll go get the rest, the rest of that sand. You should reach out to Famous Birthdays and try and get on their website. The hell is Famous Birthdays? I've never been to a Famous Birthday. Almost just got hit by a car, but it's my property, so I'm in the right. Oh, he's gaining traction on the last month. His posts are like train wrecks. Oh, no. Oh, no. If there is actually an Umpaville video coming out about him, I'll watch it. I will watch it. I like the Umpavilles. He's good at it. He's the only commentary YouTuber who, like... He delivers everything professionally, but at the same time, he's an ape. <laughs> he's just a normal ape. Okay. I got a moustache here going up my nose. Good... And Turkey Tom. I like Turkey Tom as well. Other than that, like, I think everybody in the commentary space takes themselves a little bit too seriously. After each stream, search up Famous Birthdays and you'll see. After each stream. Oh, after the stream. Okay, sorry. My Dyslexia was playing up. Or, as we like to call it, Dyslexia, because that's how it's spelled. Hey, we've got 500 buckery boots. We can actually get another staff member to generate money for us while we're letting our other two staff members sleep. Okay, we'll do that. Ah. What's that here? Okay, we'll come on through here. And I'm going to ignore all rules of safety. I'll come over here and we'll pick up this one bale of sand. Done. And now we're getting out of Rudy. Oh, we missed a, a pain point. It's a shame. Okay, let's hire a new staff member, right? I think that's going to be a really good idea. Brand new trailer for a brand new staff member. Great. Okay, who do we want? Maria looks like an absolute mess. Jesus, look at her. Maybe fueling and cash register would be the way. I don't think we'll get another on the... Oh, Ricardo's still here, actually. Okay, we're going to get Ricardo. He's way more put together than Juan. Uh, schedule. Ricardo, unfortunately, is going to have to work the night shift. And we probably primarily want him to... And no. We don't really care about cleaning the station just yet, right? Because those people can... Juan can just pile up. Let's get him to handle the register and fuel cars. Handle the register and fuel cars when you're not doing that. Done. Okay, now we've got employees at all hours of the day. That is perfect. Hello there, strange man. What are you? Magneto? With a strangely shaped head? Oh, no, I can't tell. Oh, my head. All right. Whew. I keep up with Umpa. His last name is Foot. I don't think that's any better than Poots. <laughs> oh, although I do like the name Ian. Am I dyslexic too? You could be. You could be. He's funny as hell. I don't really watch his girlfriend too much, but definitely watch him. Uh, I'm going to start refueling these little machines here. How much do I owe you? You owe me money. Good. Pay it into my pockets, please. It's so nice of them to give us exactly the amount of money that we require, isn't it? Okay, that's out of the way. Where the hell is our employee? Oh, right, 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 right. We didn't actually set him to night shift. There you go. Night shift, buddy. Goodbye, lifestyle. <laughs> it's just an enormous shift in lifestyle, and he's going to have to deal with it. Not my problem. No, I'm not. I definitely am. I definitely have a little bit of a lifestyle here, which is how, how we say it phonetically. Okay, we'll dump the sand. I think we've only got, like, one more pile of sand before we're pretty much good to go. This, uh, honestly, the sand piles feel like busy work for the sake of busy work. It doesn't, it doesn't feel amazing to me. Okay, we're going to back it on up. And now we come all the way around here. I would love to follow the next quest line, whatever that would be. But our current tasks uh, appears to not allow us to change the key binding, unfortunately. Okay. This should be the last one. Should be the last one. If it's not, I'm going to scream. Oops, I got out of the uh, Rudy instead of picking up the sand pile. Ah! 
Okay, that was not the last one, unfortunately. I don't like either of them as much because you start to notice that the lines of each other are in direct consequence to being inseparable. Oh, uh, not the villain Chris, right? I don't know, they're, they're kind of cute together. I just like... I started watching Umperville before he started dating Chris. So, you know. And he's really funny. He's really funny. I just haven't given her a chance. I probably won't. Call me based. It's a Sigma move. Oh my god. We only had that new staff member working for like an hour, by the way. Okay, we'll come over here. This should give us the last of the sand. This should be it. Last sand. Please, for the love of God. Yes. Oh, my God. If there was, like, another three piles under that, I would have probably just crashed the game. Just absolutely finished with it. What happens over there? I imagine we're supposed to move those sand piles for something. I just don't know what for. Hooky. All right. So, let's have to dump that there. Nice. Rudy is done. They acted exactly the same, and she sounds like she's trying to be him. Willie is significantly more famous on YouTube. Maybe he's, like, coaching her. In exchange for, like, um... Well, you know what men like. You know what men like. The good stuff. Nipples and stuff like that. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and paint the shop, which I thought I already did, but maybe we only did this in the previous iteration of this world, which crashed. It's absolutely fine. I don't mind if the world crashes and burns. Oops. Okay. Can't run with this thing. I keep forgetting. Can we paint this? No. Where do we paint next? Have we already painted everything? Not really. We still need to paint the garage here. Let's give it a nice little Barbie aesthetic right over here. Excellent. Good. And I shouldn't be painting this on account of the gigantic rack of electrical tools on the wall here. Ah, well. What's the worst that could happen? I short the entire system and set a fire that collapses not only the building that I I need to make a livelihood, but also the employees in it, and then I get a, char a manslaughter charge and I go to jail? That is probably the worst that could happen, actually. If, <laughs> if we get to think about it hard enough, that is probably the worst that could happen. Huh. It's just weird and... And it won't go unnoticed. Honestly, like... I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Like, I, I choose not to watch Chris simply because I'm just, like, not interested in the kind of commentary she makes. I'm interested in the kind of commentary that... that Umperville makes. He's funny as hell. His uh, diet fad ones was really funny recently. Thank you, Lord Byron, for inventing the girl dinner. My girlfriend, Yin said, actually, uh, she was having a drink of uh, some spicy water and she ended up blowing it out of her nose at that single sentence. You don't see that much. You don't see that much. Okay, yeah, good. We've almost painted this place exactly the way we don't want it. Pink. I can't think of a worse colour to paint a mechanic's garage. Okay, good. Just got this one last window to go. I also don't really like how the aesthetic of this game forces you to just have this really gross ramshackle building at all times. Okay, I'm going to paint this door orange because that's that's kind of the, the look we're going for. Good, we didn't paint any of those silver nuts. Love that. Good, and we'll finish off this other door. Are we crouched? Why are we so short? Oh, I just got gooed on. Ah, oh, that's Juan's problem now. Okay, this looks threatening somehow. Ooh. How about baby blue on the inside? Can we paint the inside? Yes. Okay, we'll paint the inside baby blue. Here we go. Oh, no, that actually doesn't look bad. I don't know if I like this. I'm deciding maybe we, I, I don't want it in baby blue. Okay, I'm changing my mind. We are going with poo brown right here. We've already made most of a feature wall. The rest of it is going to be poo brown good nice love this in new zealand they don't call it carbonated water or sparkling water you call it spicy water or is it spicy flavored water uh well i well, i've got a dialect for it i call it uh tv static as does yin set because that's kind of what it tastes like 
But no, it is just carbonated water. You can call it whatever you want here in New Zealand. Not enough people buy it for it to actually be a big thing. Like, it's not a big market whatsoever. Which genuinely surprises me, because it's one of my favourite drinks in the world. I used to drink a lot of energy drinks up until about 2015, when a switch in my head literally just flipped, and I never craved another energy drink ever again. In fact, I look at people drinking energy drinks, and I'm like, oh, well, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be drinking that. Which is a little bit, a little bit strange. But man, it saved me so much money over the years. Oops, that's the same. Why the hell are we doing this one again? Nah, we're not doing that one again. Okay. Okay, we'll stay in the green for this one. Ah, we're out of fuel. That's probably not the best thing in the world for a petrol station. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we've got wallpapers here. Oh, some of these are revolting. Okay, we've got to start using some of these. Whoops. Oh my god, get this out of my hands. The paintbrush, it should not be the sprint button to change the colors. It should be like right mouse or literally anything a little bit better. Ah, oh, Juan is actually cleaning up. Maybe we should get him on the checkouts full time and only clean up when there's nothing else to do. Dude, are you taking the piss? Okay, I'm changing his priorities around. I think he's bugged a little bit. Juan, your priority is to handle register and then clean the station, you idiot. Absolute dumbass. Stupid dumb idiot asshole. What are you? 18 bucks? Here you go. Done. Paid him. All right, done. So, now that we got that... Oh, upgrades. Can we get another staff member? No, we probably can't, actually. We probably need to be... Gas station level 5, or we need to upgrade something else. Beaches? Parking lots? Okay, so there are two more parking lots that we could buy. 750 buckery booze. It's going to be pretty excessive. What else we got? Toilets? Things will fall. This effectively doubles the effort needed to keep the entire room clean, but if they are indeed clean, you'll get the bang with your buck. Does this give us money? Do toilets actually give us money? I never thought that they did. Bus stop, we probably wanted... No, we just want to have this. We don't want to upgrade it, because we can't. Third fuel dispenser, probably a little bit excessive. Lottery machine? Used to generate profit and boost gas station popularity. Eight and a half thousand bucks! Jesus Christ! That's excessive. Okay. We definitely have to re-up some of our supplies, don't we? What else we got? We have in our backpack, we've got another shelf. We've got big soft drink stand. Okay, we'll get this anyway. Even though it cuts into our storage and it's not particularly lucrative in any way, shape or form. Just put it here, I suppose. Done. Do we have anything? No. All right, let's go and restock some of our supplies, including our petrol. Delivery. Cool. Good. Uh, 500 of it. Order. Done. Not enough money? My ass, we don't have enough money. Oh, 767? Okay, reset that. 200 bucks. 450 bucks. That was expensive. Jesus. Woo! A little? <laughs> what no. was that in reference to? It's kind of bull as well. Bathrooms were always out of service. Oh, right, okay. Bathrooms may generate money. Okay, gotcha. But we need someone to clean it full time, though, don't we? So, we probably want to get ourselves... Why is this blinking? Party time? Party time! What is this? Okay, we get an ice cream stand and a party spot if we just upgrade this level. Oh, we, we need level five. Okay, so we can't do party time at all. Why is it covered in cigarettes? Strange. Okay, management, fuel dispenser. Uh, we aren't really... Do we want to close any of these? I don't think we do, honestly. I don't think we do. I don't, I don't think we do. Okay, let's get a delivery of products, and we'll get ourselves some soft drinks. We'll get the highest priced one. 30, uh, 2850, what is the profit on this? 60 bucks for the whole pack. Okay, so 25 profit, whoops. 25 profit. This one here is not 25, but it's 25 profit. Okay, we could get some marijuana here. Mr. Burton, how much is this? Sell price, 45 bucks. This one seems to actually be the one, Mr. Burton, right? I think this is the one we should just get. No. That one's pretty close as well. Aunt Betty's tonic. Oh my God. Okay, these three here, we definitely need to get lots of. Drop Golo, Mr. Burton, Aunt Betty's tonic. We're just gonna get a bunch of those. We'll buy these and then we'll fill up our drinks machine with it. 
Hi, Yunsen. I hope you understand that. It's 11 10 for me because I'm going to go to sleep. You have a great sleep. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic sleep. I hope you dream of green fields and Elysium. Unlikely, though. This is kind of neat. I love how we're literally just jerking off the guitar's neck. Weird. Okay. We'll get out of this mini game. Apparently, this is a mini game, by the way. Uh, let's go ahead and start throwing out all of these valuable items because there's no way of actually making money off of them. Unfortunately. All right, get this amp right here. Throw this into the bin or we could just miss and then ignore it for the rest of our lives. Perfect. Good. Throw that there. Nice. I'm just going to put this in the bin nicely then. Done. Why would someone just throw all of this out? This is very expensive. I'm holding literally 50 bucks. If it's a piece of crap. Okay. I'm going to get this here drum kit. Again, a few hundred bucks, these. Uh, there is a Freddy Teddy right over here. Actually, it kind of looks like Smokey the Bear. Oop, nearly just got hit by my own delivery man. Embarrassing. Uh, Smokey the Bear doesn't want to go in the bin. Okay. Well, this is just embarrassing. Come on, buddy. You're getting into another bin, it seems. Good. Done. I bet that was really jarring to watch. Okay, we'll open this up. And there's probably going to be a couple of things that we can move over here. Or not. Great. Awesome. All right, let's go back into the main thoroughfare. It is getting late in the day, but we should have automation all day, every day. Okay, I'm placing a little bit of everything that we have. Wow, you are king. Lady, they haven't even warmed up. What are you, Angelina Jolie? Look at that eagle. Owl. It's an owl, not an eagle. Hey, buddy. What's good? Okay, let's go ahead and fill this guy up. Make a little bit of money if we can. There we go. Thank you. I work here. Let's keep... Wait for the customer's order. Why? I know what the customer wants. They want petrol. Oh, did we just run out? I think we just ran out. That's embarrassing. Okay, I'm going to check my emails, which is something that I did not want to have to do in this game whatsoever. Mail. Okay, sandstorms in the dust bowl. Th okay, that's not helpful in any way, shape, or form. Okay, let's come over here. We'll see what this phone has to offer and if we can interact with it yet. No. Seriously? What about this? Nope. Does nothing. Okay, we can't answer the phone, apparently. That's a shame. I think we just have to beat the entire aviation DLC before the game will actually allow us to play it. Hey, Juan. You should be going home. Oh, he's still got an hour. He's still got an hour. He's fine. We could probably close up this uh, mechanics place. Although Charlotte's not actually doing anything else. Maybe we set her as refueling full-time and then we have her in the mechanic shop. After everybody is all fueled up. That's probably actually a better idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Otherwise, she'll just be running to all of the cars which have a higher volume. But not handling the register. Repair cars. Is there any way that we can get another register? I don't think that there actually is. Tools, maybe. Nope. Pneumatic hammer. Why the hell would I want this? Excessive. Okay, we'll go into the upgrades, and what else we got? Not a hell of a lot. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. We just need to make money, it seems, which means we probably need to rush this here item. Right? I imagine. Okay, let's see how we can get this item here. That guy's literally running home. Jesus, he is keen as a green bean to get out of here. Okay, so... Upgrades. Car wash one. How much is this? A grand. We could probably actually afford that if we sell enough hats. Hello there, lady in your pigtails. Let's go ahead and service her. Thanks. All right, thank you for the eight bucks. Piss off. Where are your pants? I know she just came from the bathroom. Did she just, like, leave her pants in the bathroom? I'm going to go check. Disgusting. Oh! No wonder she left it in. I know what you did. 
I know what you did last summer. <laughs> Just throw a turd at her. I didn't actually think it would hit her. All right, good. Get a couple of these drinks. Just hope none of them are. Top of the line job there. Why only eight bucks? We sold so much more than we did last time. Strange. Okay, I. You okay. Botched it. Wait, did this guy actually give us money for that? It's worse than before. No, he did not. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to rush level five, and then we should be absolutely good to go. What the hell is the? It is just coming from there, right? God, that is loud and obnoxious and and worthless, useless to us. So I fail to see how we are currently losing money. The moment might be a little bit strange. And why is the traffic still congesting over here? Is that Elon Musk? What the hell are you doing here? Piss off! Okay, I feel like the game's bugging out. Just a little bit. Uh, we could go and hit the alien button. We go hit the reset button, which may actually give us a little bit more easement. This one right here. Wookie! Warning, this resets all the cars and customers. Yes, please. Here they come! Here's the alien! Here's the flashbang! That's like insult to injury. You're about to go up into the, the alien spaceship and get a nice probing. Hopefully you're mailing, you've got a nice P-spot. And then all of a sudden, flashbang! You get flashbang! What the hell is this? Oh, there's that poo that I left on the ground. I'll leave that for one, I think. That is a big turd, though. Put that in there. Leave that just in the middle of the floor right there. Okay, might take a wee while for us to actually get some more customers. We can't afford any more fuel. How, how the hell are we losing money? How are we actually losing money? That doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, delivery. We'll get some more fuel, I suppose. It is expensive right now. It's really expensive. Ah, Elon and Elon deliver the parts and the fuel. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. We can't afford this. Okay. We might have to take out a loan. I feel like we should just take out a loan, honestly. Uh, let's request a loan. Uh, two grand. Done. Okay. We got to pay it off in 35 minutes. Ah, well. That's fine. So now we need maximum fuel. Done. We'll order that. And now we've got enough for the car wash as well. So hopefully we can get that. Car wash. Okay. Additional quest progress needed. What is the quest? What is it? I can't access my goddamn quests. Okay. Options. Controls. We probably have to reset them, right? Reset the controls. I'm going to reset them. Done. Apply. Apply. Okay. Apparently unbound is just the default setting. Ah. Oh. 35 minutes? Yeah, we got 35 minutes to pay it off. It's a hell of a loan, huh? All right. Uh, back into controls. Key bindings. What is... What is not working? Activate magnet, mute sounds in the RC car game. Thank God. Increase snap distance. Oh, I didn't even realize there was snap distance during placement. Uh, Earbrush, spray color slider. Might be useful later. Change mode, decrease snap low rotation. Tab. That opens the tool menu. Move arm forward, move arm up. Oh, right, that's for uh, nothing useful. Access photo mode, mute car sounds. All right, there is no button to allow us to change the quest that we have. Where are the quests? Is there any menu where we can see the goddamn quests? I'm going into gameplay. Okay, it's not doing anything. Yep, all of that is good. Achievements? Nope. Doesn't really... Yeah, that's, that's not helpful either. Okay, so, how the hell do we change our current quest? Right, because that is actually impeding our progress right now. I'm going to go ahead and Google it, actually. Gas station 
Simulator. I probably also need to change the name of the game as well on, on YouTube. Gas Station Simulator. Uh, follow. Next. Quest line. Quest line. Okay, follow the quest line tutorial of the airstrip to unlock a few things, then you can go back to your normal quests. What, the tutorial is to buy an entire building so we can get back to the base game? Are you taking the piss? Hello there, try looking into the controls or do a reset to default and see if this solves the issue. No, that did not uh, help whatsoever. I apologize, saw this might have just worked because I did change a few keybinds around before buying the DLC, I ended up finished. Didn't get tried out to see if it works. Okay, it doesn't work. There, there you go, there you go Reddit, it doesn't actually work. Here, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at now as well. So this is what I'm looking at. I'm also gonna change the uh, game on the live stream because uh, we need to change what it's called. Uh, how about R Station Simulator? It's R Station Simulator time. With an exclamation mark, excellent. And I'll set the name of the game to Gas Station Simulator. Done, awesome. All of that is out of the way. So, okay, here's what I'm looking at, right? Someone else is having the same problem. Key bind to change quest line. I just updated my game and now I have the option to change between quest lines, but it shows the key is unbound. That is exactly what I am seeing in the far corner over there, right? Why is everyone resting? What the hell? Please, what are you doing? This guy should be up. Oh, he's unpaid. Oh, well, we'll change that right now. Good. Oh, all right, so. Let's go back in here, try to look into the controls, do a reset, and see if this solves the issue. That's what a moderator said, and he didn't do it. And this guy said, okay, it's gonna fix it. Didn't, it didn't. Okay. Uh, game does not go on in the beginning. Quest system rework. Okay, I don't think it works. What happens if you don't pay off a loan? You lose 100 reputation points. Seriously? And people steal, is that it? Is that literally it? That's two grand in the pocket, though. Well, I'll take it. All right. Apparently, it takes ten and a half hours to beat this game. What a crock of garbage. It does not take ten and a half hours to beat. Okay. Uh, not, I'm literally not seeing anything other than what I just saw. Okay, there's nothing here. There is a live fish on the floor. We still cannot change our quest, unfortunately. All right, Ricardo is now actually selling things. We've actually got a higher likelihood of paying back our loan, believe it or not, if we sell things, I feel. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get our gas on the boil. There we go. Takes way longer than 10 hours. That's not what, that's not what how long to beat.com said. How long to beat.com said it takes 10 hours. Okay, I'll start actually cleaning up then, I suppose. Probably ruining our reputation a little bit. I'll throw out this gigantic turd. Good, and I'll take that. Excellent. Nice. And we'll throw this into the garbage bin right over here. Nice. And this one as well, right in there. Did anyone leave any poos in here? No, just a couple of footprints, which I'm happy to get rid of. Done. Okay, Elon. You're kind of congesting traffic. I'm going to need you to piss off. Okay, thank you. Whew. Go away, Elon. Go away. <laughs> I sweep him away. What's this? No idea. Okay, Elon, you just stay there real quickly. I just really quickly have a, um, a little thing that I, I need to do. Damn it. Okay, they're getting away. All right. Let's start opening up these trunks right here. Start trying to get some of that two grand. Because we spent a bunch. We spent a bunch of it, and now we can't pay it back. $4.37? Sweet. Another log beginner trunk right here. Excellent. And that's it. Good. Got $8.31. All the cars are gone. Here's one. Okay, still sounds like that phone is ringing out. <clears throat> that guy's persistent. That guy's really persistent. I would offer him a job in marketing, if I could. A stuffed coyote. Nice. I know we should probably sell it for money, but stuff coyote. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, snapping doesn't actually work whatsoever. Oh, hold up. Okay, it does actually function. 
All right, let's put the dog here because it's fun. And it'll scare the customers. Done. Let's put this bear somewhere that is not literally in harm's way. I think maybe we keep it there. Good. Eagle stays there. Perfect. I don't think we can move the bins. That sucks. I think that painting's in a perfect place. Let's go ahead, pick this up, and then we'll activate snapping. I didn't even realize this was a thing until literally I saw it in the controls menu. Uh, we need more car care stuff. We are going to need lots more car care stuff. Go ahead and activate snapping. Excellent. Done. And that just snaps onto a point in the wall. Good. Ah, oh, my nose is so itchy. Complete crock of garbage, unless he's talking about straight gameplay time. Gameplay time? Oh, what, do you mean to, like, see everything that's new? For the first time? Whoa, that was first. Okay, good. Stock some of these delicious drinks. I don't know if we're selling them. Maybe we need another fridge. We're actually pretty damn close to getting ourselves to the, uh... To the lone goal, though, which is pretty funny. We just didn't spend the whole thing. Oh, we still have to spend an extra, like, 500 bucks of it, though. Okay. Let's... You know what? If we're going to lose everything anyway, let's just redeem it. Uh, let's get ourselves an upgrade to the gas station. Oh, pfft. The issue is actually the quests. We can't change the quests. That is the issue. The game has a real nasty... This is essentially what I would consider to be a game-breaking bug. Okay, let's just buy that goddamn building then, okay? Let's buy it. Communication center right here. Done. I bought it. All right, I'm not happy about it, but I bought it. That's completed. All right. Buy a trade airstrip one spot. Fine, I'll buy more stuff. Ugh. Ugh. Trade airstrip one. That is this one here. That costs a grand. Okay, I'll... Sure, I'll do that right now. We are never going to play this DLC again, by the way. All right, let's come up here. Congratulations. Thanks. Arrived at your command post. Yeah, Here's I noticed. The list of upcoming arrivals. From the left, you can see the plane's country of origin. Its number, cargo, and time to arrival. Cargo is divided into two categories. The top row is what the pilot is carrying, and the bottom row is what he wants to trade for. Depending on your communication center level, you'll be able to identify more products from the list before the pilot arrives. Do you remember what I asked for? Doesn't look like the next pilot is carrying tequila. You can reject a plane using the X button on the right side of the screen. Okay, fine. Perfect. You're a Done. fast learner, partner. Now pick up the communication device. I'll show you one more thing. I've got it here. Almost the same. However, the device shows only two upcoming flights, not four like on the screens. Plus, I couldn't kill it. You can see information about the goods I'm currently interested in. You can give them to me every time I arrive at the airport and expect a fair reward. Simple as that. Now, check if you're prepared for your first trade. Remember that anything you want to trade with must be in your warehouse, not on the shelves. One we can't even buy this. Remember that all pilots need some refueling after the long journey. Always do it before you start trading with them. There may not be enough time for that later. If you do everything right, they'll trust you more. Fox 29 out. Okay, thank you for the lore dump. Turn the sound off. You can't mute Joe during the campaign. Aww. Okay, order products desired by the pilot. He wants the... He wants tequila. We can't buy that. We literally can't buy that. Hmm. Okay, so... We'll go into the store. We'll see if we can't buy ourselves some tequila. It's probably going to cost us a heap of money just to be able to stock it in the first place. But, you know what? Fortune favors the bald. I think. I hope. I don't know. I'm not bald. God, that lip balm tastes delicious. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and try for a delivery of products. Alcohol. Oh, we do have it. Why is there no tequila? 
We need tequila, but there isn't any tequila. We can get this original whiskey. That's probably a really bad thing to stock here, though. To be quite fair. Probably a really nasty thing to, to stock here. Maybe you don't want to do that. Okay, where do we order it from? Adonema? Adonema? I'm certain that he wanted... What the hell? Task completed. What do you mean task completed? Oh, I see. So, what does he want? He wants... No. The yellow one is what he will trade for, right? So, if we bring him a interior cleaner, which we need to restock up on anyway, he'll give us a chewing tobacco. Seriously? Ah, oh, well, if it gets the quest off of the screen, we'll do it. How does that sound? I'm also going to go into Shrek's toilet over here. Done. Okay, so we need some more car care. Let's go ahead and go for a delivery of products. Uh, car care, right here. Glass cleaner, no. We need the interior cleaner right here. Actually, we should probably just get, like, a bunch of different stuff, right? We can afford it. Sure. Done. For now. We can afford it for now. Okay, so we'll wait for that to arrive. Annoyingly. Don't know how long that's going to take. But oh well, you know what? We have lockpicks. Let's just start breaking into people's cars. Beginner lock, not for long. Oh, I already found the sweat spot. What the hell? That was weird. I just got booted out, I think. Okay, nobody's guarding this one. It's got a frunk. Oh, a master frunk. Wow. Okay, good. Nice, got it. 18 bucks, that was not worth it. I mean, we got it pretty fast, but again, like, probably wasn't really worth it. Juan, what are you doing? Is this place on fire or something? Why is he so slow? He's so slow. Oh my god, he is so goddamn slow. Alright, here's our delivery a minute later. Okay, good. So, once this gets into the store, we should be able to exchange, shouldn't we? We should be able to. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but once we are able to do this, then we should be able to get ourselves exactly the thing we needed in the first place. Get rid of that lockpick. This is already unlocked. I know that because we paid for it. Right, let's open this up. Start stocking all of this in the warehouse. I do kind of like that we don't have to run all of this from the warehouse out into the store. That would be such a massive pain in the ass. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, there's that lady whose car I broke into. All right, we're going over here now. And we can do a swap, can't we? Good. Items of player. Oh, no, we actually needed chewing tobacco. What else do we need? What is Sakiri? Wash and wax, we've also actually got some of that, so we could trade that for Dia dos Muertos Skulls. Okay, how do I do this? How do I, how do I redeem, my dude? Hello? How do I redeem? Okay, fueling the plane. How do I drop this? Okay, plane fueling is similar to car fueling, however, the fuel pump works irregularly and can slow down or speed up. You need to be careful. Start fueling, pick up the gas pump and interact with the fuel slider using the left mouse button. There is no fuel slider. There's no left mouse button. Oh, I see. Okay. Right, gotcha. So it's like, it's fiddly. Thanks a lot. Hello there, buddy. Wow, look at you. Welcome to the trading tutorial. Here you'll learn what steps to take on the way to a successful exchange of products. I've got a better idea. How about I just skip? Okay. We want all of this tequila. Oh my god. Select at least 10 bottles of tequila. How about 40? Okay, select things from this side. Okay, we've got a very low chance of trade. Let's put the chewing tobacco in there. Wash and wax. 27 of them, sure. Or not. We can only trade one of these. Oh well. No, it doesn't After the me. offer rejection, the impatience indicator fills up, depending on the relevance of the offer. When the indicator reaches the end, the upset pilot leaves the airstrip. There are some special skills that you can use while trading. Each skill is a cooldown, so choose wisely. The power of calm to reduce the impatience indicator, which increased due to rejected offer. Done. Try to increase the number of products offered to convince the pilot to trade. Then try to propose the trade again. Okay. 
Oh, now we can actually increase, right? How about some beers, some wash and wax, and some securities? We've got a couple of those, I bet. Some tobacco, bold almond, short, fake police hat, done. Oh, he really likes these fake police hats. Okay. Agreed. Nice. You we just got fun. something. I'm getting nice. onto his plane. Take me with you. Take me with you. Take me with you. Oh, I just got into his plane. That was weird. So now. Awesome. Wait for Joe to arrive at the airstrip. What a thrilling quest. What a thrilling quest arc we've just found ourselves in. Truly thrilling. Okay, good. Oh, she wants a Viking hat. I don't really care. I don't care what you want, lady. I don't care what kind of political affiliations you have. Okay, let's go ahead and start looting some of these cars. Because we kind of need to, don't we? We're going to need to start looting some of these cars. Oh, that was easy. Done. Good. We just got a bunch of money, almost 20 bucks. What about this one? My car park? My locks. Okay, that's not the way. Good. I got less out of that car than I got out of this one that had a worse lock. Awesome. I love the risk slash rewards you get in this game. Okay, let's see if we can't answer this phone now. Nope. <laughs> Alright, fine. Alright, Charlotte is refilling all the cars. I love that. How much money do we have? 1.2k? Awesome. But we should be full up on all of our crap too, shouldn't we? Alright, let's place all of our chewing back of there. And all of this stuff. We'll place all of this here on the shelves. Good. Ron every rob every customer. You get 24 bucks sometimes. Yeah, you'd need it, wouldn't you? You need to rob all of the customers. Okay, good. And the issue is that they don't refresh very fast. Oh, hello there. Thank you very much for that microaggression. Alright. We need to pick up some trash, right? We've got full trash. And Juan here is literally standing here with his thumb up his ass, doing absolutely nothing but accruing wages. What a dickhead. Wow. An absolute toss pot. Okay, good. Okay, I thought there'd be somebody at the checkout by now, but there appears not to be. Watch out for the coyote. Okay. I think he's unbugged. Wow, they are really filling up the bins, huh? Alright, he's running. Does that mean the work is over? No, it does not. Alright, he's walking at a snail's pace over here. Oh my god, what is up with all the frame drop? I love how the game's like, hey, you can, uh... You can wait for Joe to finish at the airstrip. That's the quest objective, is wait. An artificial time gate. Getting a half hour is my ass crack. Sorry, what did you want to buy, sir? Hard to say. Okay. So, we're finally being checked out. This guy's buying a bunch of chips, a Cornetto, he's getting a couple of beers and some Pringles, and he's also getting a nice bottle of off milk. Oh, perfect, here we go. Finally! Mayday! Oh, there he is. Well, that was weird. Would you mind helping a war veteran? What do you mean helping a war veteran? Okay, there is nowhere that has been hit. Weird. Vamos, vamos, muchacho. Vamos, muchacho. Okay, no, I don't want to trade with this guy. Uh, deny. Until next time. So where is he? He said he was hit. Oh, Toe Joe's plane. Okay. We'll get uh, Lofty right here. Bob Builder's van. And we'll go and tow this dickhead from his precarious predicament. Why he can't do it himself? Absolutely beyond me. I would love if he just did it himself. All right, good. Damn, he landed far away. Couldn't he crash closer to the to the warehouse next time? What a dick! What an actual dick! 
Okay, another game wants me to call the engine. I don't actually want to call the engine. Okay, I am re really happy, actually, that there are controls in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Because unfortunately, it doesn't really seem like there's anything else. Okay, I'm just going over the lumps. Nice. Call the engine my ass. I'm not doing it. Okay. Overcharge no certain customers. Like one of three other customers that screw up some of the items. Easy. Scan go faster. Much better in the old days. Nah, never mind. I need a drink. I feel like once the um the AI kind head. of like gets its Oh, how do we extend this? I think once the AI gets its its goodies in there, it should be absolutely fine, right? Why am I Sorry, the controls for this are truly revolting. I've got to, like, uh, skirt in around here, I think. Yuck! Oh, my God! The handling on this car sucks absolute ass. Oh, yeah, that's really going to help. Okay, we got to back it in, obviously. Maybe that'll do. I'll try it. Nope, still not good enough. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. What an ass mini game this is. So here's what I'm thinking, right? Right as this remaining loan, if we don't have enough to pay it off, we just buy a bunch of upgrades, right? And then we take out more loans and then we get more upgrades and we'll see if we can go down a little because I don't actually think we can. Okay, I'm going over the lumps. I'm going to drag this aeroplane through the cacti, or not. Maybe I'm not going to do that whatsoever. Okay, yep, I'm going to do it. Perfect. <laughs> this game is so goofy. Lamel. All right, we've got another plane here willing to do some trade. I don't really care too much. Everyone's resting again. Why is everyone resting? I don't get it. Why is everyone always resting? We can afford to pay them. Uh, they're done. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of this thing. Uh, to conserve petrol, I'm gonna hit this button right here. Boop. Or not. Oh yeah, there he is, good. Uh, let's go back to the store, because apparently we aren't automatically paying our staff. I imagine that is actually the issue, right? Employee. This guy down here, why are we not paying him automatically? Oh my god, he was not generating us money whatsoever. That sucks, that sucks so bad, honestly. That feels really, really bad. Okay, patch the holes using duct tape. Looks like we're doing the DLC before we do the base game. Let's grab some of these. Uh, the lowest use tape in the world. Okay, that goes there, that goes there. I'd love flying this thing after I'm finished patching it over. That goes there. That goes here. Nice, I fixed a hole. Straight over the middle. Straight over the rest. Nice, that's apparently fixed. I think we've just got to subdivide and go straight over from the middle to the outside. Like so. Use all the tape. Okay, good. Let's grab another roll of tape. Kind of strange that a uh, single roll of tape doesn't actually last for a plane. All fixed, excellent. It's also unsatisfying because we're not actually, we're not fixing the holes. We're probably making them worse. All right, put that there, like that, good. That one can go like so, or not, please. There we go, apparently that's fixed. Uh, there's a couple of big slashes here. What the hell are these guys even doing? That's obviously fixed. This one's obviously fixed like that, good. Done. Oh, I see you're prepared this time. That's pretty damn impressive. Since you already have a dispenser, I could use some refueling too. I do not care. I do not want to do any of this, my dude. Where's your fuel cap? Do you have a fuel cap? Uh. Hello? Refuel Joel's playing using the defense the dispenser near the fixing spot. Okay. Pinch, check to see if you've got enough fuel. What am I aiming at? There's no icon. Oh, this isn't the right one, is it? I need this one. Okay. 
Well done. I don't regret working with you for one bit. Now, throw my order in the trunk of my plane and you'll get something special. What wow. A let down. Okay, we're getting a blueprint. The thing I gave you can be used to upgrade your barn or buy special landmarks. I'm always happy to provide it, but as I said, you must give me something in return. Gotta go. Will you help me during the takeoff? No. Okay, fine. Fine, I will help you hard, obviously. Left. Turning left. I don't remember how this works. Oh, that's right. We gotta guide him, right? Okay, apparently this is hard. I can't actually see what he's doing. No, don't go outside the lights, you moron! What do you mean restarting? I had space! Sorry, I can't see. The, uh, the forced volumetric fog in this game is preventing me from being able to see when it's taking off, so... I am literally telling him to go to the side at maximum. I need to just play an angle. That is a stupid minigame. I, I do not like that minigame whatsoever. Goodbye. We won't be doing that ever again. You can't see anything. Wes, gather enough money and blueprints to buy storage level one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this game! Oh, what did I do? I mean, we could probably actually just get it. No, you won't? What do you mean, no, I won't? Okay. So, our employee is fueling people. Great, that is generating money. Hello there, ma'am. Uh, sorry, I just stared at your chest for a little bit there. Doesn't really look like there's a hell of a lot going on in here, does there? Like, whoops. Ew. All right, so I'm gonna place this back down again. Uh, so, we probably wanna place all of this stuff here. Done. And there's nothing there to store, good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw out this trash, this trash, and this, and this. Awesome, more trash, let's get our uh, sweep, sweep, sweep out, good. And a little bit over here, great. Beautiful. Now we wanna throw out some trash, don't we? Throw that in there, very cash money. And this one over here, that can go in the bin. Good, and is there another? Yes. Thank God I saw it. Whew. The torture ends at a certain level of momentum. I'm not tortured, I literally cannot like see what any of the game is because the game refuses to allow me to bind the button, which is reliant on telling me what the quests are. The tasks, not quests. Wow, those things have fallen out. You seeing that, land, lady? Actually, they look very similar. You're not sisters, are you? Maybe. Just buying a lot of stuff, apparently. Four bucks! He scanned like 20 things! What? This doesn't make sense! The math is not mathing! Ricardo! Oh my god! You are not a good investment! Bucks! What the hell? I do hope he is taking the piss. I better get money out of this. Okay. I probably would have earned 40 bucks already by now. What did you what did you sell? 40 bucks. Okay, that's that's reasonable. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. That is fair enough. Unfortunately, there's not really any way that we can uh, recuperate some of our losses. Certainly, they're not five. Like, the next five minutes. Who the hell put this here? Seriously? Rude. All right, we'll go into the not here. We want to go into the upgrade screen. Don't boot me from the menu. Whew. Okay, so now that we have. A little bit of splash money. We can actually get ourselves an upgrade. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get the car wash on account of not being able to see what the quest is to be able to do that. 
Yep, definitely can't do anything to do with that. We've got a VIP icon up here. I'm not entirely sure what that will actually do for us. Statistics. Okay, we've made 15 grand. What the hell does this even mean? I don't even know what this means. Oh, right. I don't know what this means. Random. Okay. All right, we've got a loan of $2,500. We finally got somebody actually managing the checkout. He's not earning us what you would call, however, money, I suppose you could say. Okay, fine, I'll start filling these guys up. We're almost pretty close to paying off the loan, to be quite honest. Good job. Okay, we're out of fuel, which is a real big problem, because we kind of also want to be... No, we definitely don't have enough to pay off the... The loan. Okay, I'm getting as much of this as I can possibly manage, and then I am also going to go ahead and check out my features. Right, so we can get another parking lot. Done. Bye. Gorgeous. We got the next parking lot, and we're also going to get ourselves two toilets. One here. We're going to spend all of our money. Okay, not enough money for that $350 toilet. Wow, someone's using it right this second. That's weird. Okay, still can't afford it. That's fine. We've got 191 bucks. We're going to lose all of that. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind too much. Maybe we can get the upgrade right before the loan expires, right? Hopefully. All right, I don't know what that... That is petrol. Excellent. I'm not actually going to activate the petrol car until the loan passes either. Because there is the potential that uh, the, the petrol could be stolen. We don't want that. I'm pretty certain that there are only two different tasks. Rob cars and provide gas. Oh, yeah. What about buy, buy an airstrip? Buy an entire airline. Okay, I'm going to break into this car right here. Maybe we could actually dump that 350 buck reboost. Oh, no. Officer is here. We did it. Nice. I got a stuffed owl, which I'm immediately going to keep as a... I'm going to keep that as a liquid asset. I'm keeping it. I'm going to keep it. Because maybe we can sell it for a profit. Okay. So, what's in here? Locked beginner? I ain't no beginner. I played Skyrim. What about this one? Oh, straight off the bat. Nice. Got that one. That uh, has no trunk. That's fine. Neither do either of these. That sucks ass. Didn't we just unlock another car park? Where are all the cars? Huh. Where? Okay. What have we got? Uh, two minutes left on the loan, and we got 166 bucks. Why the hell are people wanting to buy, like, real bougie cigarettes? Obviously, we don't sell them. Okay. So, can't rob these. Can't refuel them either. Can't be opened, can't be opened. That one's new. This one's got a frunk. Let's go ahead and break into this one. Yoink! Whatever's in this one. Yeah, maybe? Yes! Nine bucks. Nice. Not amazing, but I'll take it. It's half what I would usually expect. Oh, here we go. Nice. Already hit the sweet spot. Right there. Great. 17 buckery boos. I'll take it. Beginner lock? Sure. Sure, I'll take this as well. <laughs> this lady just ram raided this cop. Okay, we've already broken into his car. What about hers? Yep, already broken in. Uh, we haven't already ransacked this lady's car, which we can't do, unfortunately. It's shame. Oh, look! The other car park's getting filled up. Perfect. All right. There it is. A little bit further this way, I think. Nice. Got him! And no more to unlock. Okay, so... Wait, why is... Why is she repairing? We don't have any resources. Oh, we're out of petrol. That's why. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We'll still wait. We'll still wait until we can maybe get 350 buckery boos. In fact, I'll go into my backpack. I'll sell the stuffed owl right here. There we go. And we are going to go ahead and upgrade the bathroom, I think. Features. Let's go ahead and upgrade the toilets. Done. 350 bucks right in the pocket. Nice. 20 seconds left to spare on the loan. All right, 
right, let's see what this loan does. Let's see what failing a loan does, because we may be able to exploit this. As kind of like a just a scummy gas station owner. Which we are currently role-playing as. Okay, good. I'm doing like Minecraft platforming across all of these cars as well. Uh we've got one second. Uh-oh! No! What is he gonna do? He's got a baseball bat. Alright. Hey, Paul. We weren't in there. We weren't actually in there. Who did he just beat up? Wait, seriously? Okay, minus 100 popularity. That hasn't made a dent. Are we still on the lockpick screen? That hasn't made a dent! That did nothing! Oh my god, is that just a free 2,000 bucks every time we want to take it then? That feels good. Okay, that's less stressful. We can probably actually exploit that. Okay, good. Found another nine bucks in there. Hello there, sir. Nice and master lock. I'm going to break into it now, if you do not mind. Got a dollar fifty from something. God knows what. Maybe that's the uh, petrol we sold. Okay. Almost. Oh, so close. Just a pixel that way. Done. Nice. Got an old blue barrel. I don't know what that, that's for. Okay. So, why don't we take out another loan and just buy this next upgrade from the airstrip? Because we kind of need it, right? This right here. We need this right here. Oh, we need another blueprint as well. Great. Well, that sucks. So we need to actually dive into the aviation DLC to actually get all of the stuff we need to get out of this. That actually is a little bit frustrating. I, it's kind of, it, it's killed my love for the game a little bit. I hate to say it, but it kind, it feels like this is one of those bugs that just prevent you from being able to do a single thing. Okay, we're looking up the requirements for this, uh, uh, what is it called? The, um, car wash. Gas station sim car wash. What are the requirements for this right here? Let's actually, uh, get all the petrol in here as well. Done. Okay. So, car wash is a location in gas station simulator. No kidding. It can be unlocked when the gas station levels reach, reaches level four. Sorry, I'm mucking up my words because it's really hot where I live. Okay, so, player must spend $1,000 to renovate the plot in order to build the car wash. Then the next, the player must travel to the sewers to increase the water pressure before opening the car wash. Car wash practically runs itself, except for the fact the player has to manually turn a lever to begin the cleaning process. No products or special deliveries are needed to maintain the car wash. Great. Oh my god, seriously? Guys! The wiki isn't even finished. This has been out for months. Maybe even a year. At least, minimum. Player must spend a grand to renovate the plot in order to build the car wash. So why can't I? Where's your water for hydration? Yeah, that is a great question. There's nothing else we can interact with around here though. That's the thing. There's nothing we can do. Oh, this cop is really trying to get through. Not gonna happen, buddy. Yeah, it doesn't really look like there's a, a sewer grate or anything through here. So I do remember kind of going under. I know that this is just gonna take us to the other airstrip. What's not this? Okay, we can't go in there. Can't do anything in there. Yep. Kinda looks like we got nothing, right? Okay, I'm gonna help this cop out. He's a, he's a bit of an oak. There you go, buddy. Be on your way. What a guy. We'll keep... Maybe we have to sweep up all the sand here. I'm not seeing anything that we can do around here, to be quite honest. I'm pretty sure it was literally that sewer grate right there. Oh. Bathroom's filthy. Oh, not anymore. One sweep, that's all it takes. Oop. There we go. I feel a little bit cheated. I feel a little bit cheated out of an experience. Because it seems like we're supposed to be able to upgrade this now. Right? There is literally nothing here that would prevent us from from doing that. Except for this, which we can't pick up. We can't interact with this here. 
We can't buy any other utilities to go with it, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Okay, um, features. We'll go into features and we'll see if there's anything that we're missing. Lottery, no, we're not missing that. Fuel dispenser, we are missing that, but we... That's not helpful. Bus stop, no. Toilet, no. Parking, no. Sewer manhole. What, this here? Which doesn't have an ability to interact with. I suspect that this might not actually be the thing that we need to interact with. This one literally just takes us to the airstrip DLC. It doesn't do anything. It, that, that's all it is. It's just a shortcut. It's an EA style shortcut kit. Hello there, man. Or sir. I don't know. I couldn't tell. I didn't want to assume. Yes, it is. What, this one? Okay. I'll tell you what. If you can tell me specifically how to get in here, I will do it. The round one. Yeah, this one. I know that we go in here, but there's a step that we're missing, right? I've already cleaned up the entire place. There's not really anything else that needs doing. Why is there a stop sign facing this way? That doesn't make any sense. There's nothing else here. There's no dirt. There's no refuse. The cement mixer is kind of in the way, as is this banged up sign. I can't remember the prerequisite. Well, memory is the only thing that's going to work for us now because we don't have access to the quest screen, unfortunately. Okay, let's ask the internet again. Gas station simulator. How do I unlock car wash? I'll say it in plain text. It can be unlocked when the gas station reaches level four. Uh, we are already halfway to level five. That's awkward. Can't buy the car wash while in the airstrip DLC. I'll leave this post up for anyone having issues, but yeah, you have to finish the airport DLC story to unlock the car wash. I hate that. That, that is actually disgusting. The airport DLC is so bland. There is nothing there. There is nothing to do except for patch over holes. Which isn't even satisfying because it's, it's not correct. It's just like a good enough chore. So this is all we can do, right? This is literally all we can do. Is go and do the aviation DLC, which requires a significant amount of capital. Which we do not have because we do not have access to the car wash. Okay. We need to get blueprints in, it seems. We need to buy some Dragonario Cuban rum. Sure. This guy's not offering any blueprints. None of these guys are offering blueprints. Okay. Dragonario Cuban rum for a blueprint. Wait, how do we trade it in for Joe? Do we? Can we trade it in for Joe? I'm going to try and buy something from here. Delivery products. Uh, alcohol. None of that is able to be purchased here. Okay, so it seems though we have to trade with these pilots. Otherwise, we just simply don't have an issue. So if one of these pilots... I'm denying this plane. Doesn't have what we need. We need Dragonario Cuban rum. I don't see any on the page here. Oh, apparently they were already here. No, they weren't. <laughs> Busy work to get your reward? It's not busy work though. This is literally just superfluous time gazing for the sake of it. There's no there's no game in this DLC. This is literally just like a trading platform to get resources that were artificially added to the game to finish it. It doesn't it, there's nothing here. This is not this is not game. This is just time gates. The gameplay, the core gameplay loop now is going to be wait until you have enough of these goddamn blueprints to trade up enough of these items to, to get yourself out of the DLC so you can do the game, which is everything that takes place on the other side of the road here. Oh, oh, that hurts so bad. Oh, oh, brother, oh. Ricardo is earning his wage though. Good man. Good man. Lol, yes? Oh, and you wanted me to play this over Supermarket Simulator. Oh. Like, say what you want about Supermarket Simulator. It does have, like, chores and, and stuff for the sake of chores. But at the same time, it's not broken as hell. 
This this is just broken. It's very clear that you're supposed to be able to press a single button to change the quest to be the thing that you actually want to do rather than the thing that obviously no one wants to do. Like, I can't think of a single person who would look at the aviation DLC and think, hell yeah! Let's let's go on fetch quests with jank driving mechanics and also, hey, why not add taping holes? And also, a wall of screens! Covered in clocks! That you have to wait until they time down. That's every game. It is and it isn't. Like, like this right here, just artificially sticking out a time gate for the sake of a time gate in a single player game. It's dumb as hell. It is overwhelmingly stupid and consumer hostile, I would probably say. No one wants to wait in a single player game. Which is all we can do now. We literally don't have an option but to just wait. Okay, they tagged all of the stuff around the... Wait, is that it? Is that literally all they did? I'm pretty sure we just got our place tagged because we didn't pay our bill. They took three walls. I can do that for two grand. Okay, I think we... I've got it. I've got it. I've got a sneaky suspicion that if we go ahead and take out another loan, it's not actually going to impact us as much as we might think. Play 100 hours to get all the awesome weapons, to have all the freedom. By then, you'll no longer want to play. Well, I suppose you're right in that sense, but at the same time, the weapons are fun. The weapons are fun. And if you are sitting there staring at a screen on a screen, let, let me just really point out how lazy this DLC is. Okay, so Call of Duty, right? You unlock skins for guns, you unlock guns, it's fun, right? This is the core gameplay loop. In Call of Duty, you fill in the time by shooting enemies. You are tested on your reflexes, you are tested on your accuracy, you are tested on how fast your, your response time is for your computer. You are currently looking at the beginning to end game for this entire DLC. This is so goddamn lazy. Why would anybody want this? Why would anyone have signed off on this and thought, yo, that's, that's a really good DLC, let's whack that in the game. This is dumb as hell. Like, I, I would expect it from Playway, right? Specifically Playway, because they shovel out crap game after crap game after crap game. This is an indie development studio. These guys know better than Playway, who have a month to get out a whole game, right? This game has been in development for four, four years. A cash grab. Well, yeah, that's essentially what Playway's um, business model is. They make these games as fast as possible, and usually they turn out to be absolute crap. And people who kind of buy them are all like, oh, well, I feel kind of bad that I bought that, but I already put five hours into it. I can't return it. And that's their business model, right? It's sunk cost fallacy. That's how they make money. This is not, this is not that. Unless this development studio is pumping out a game a month, there's no excuse, right? In fact, I can probably show you exactly what I'm talking about with the Playway thing, because they just released probably uh, what people would consider to be their first good game. All right, let's go, in the, let's go in the store right here. Here we are. Playway! These guys are revolting. Playway USA. 314 games. So they've obviously published a few games that actually did end up being good, right? House Flipper was an objectively good game. Some people really like Car Mechanic Simulator. I loathed it. I hated it so much. Ship Graveyard. I liked it for a little bit, but again, that's one of their cash grabs. And then you kind of look at the other games that they have, in fact, released, right? I've ignored Cooking Simulator, which is one of their better games, right? The DLC is a crash, cash grab. I think that's the thing, though. It was free. I think it was actually a free DLC. It didn't cost you anything. Here we go. Tank Mechanic Simulator, World War II Rebuilder. This game, I actually played the prologue. It's broken as hell. It doesn't even work. Mr. Prepper is utter crap. What else they got here? Prison Simulator. That was also an utter crap game. Farmer's Life. Again, utter crap. I've ignored like half of their games from my watch list just based on them being really sucky. And I know they've got good reviews every now and then, but it doesn't reflect the studio whatsoever. The studio themselves are so, so lazy. Farm, this game doesn't even function 
I played it. Why is it mostly positive? It, when I played it, I broke it in the tutorial. Yeah, it, it is a free, it's a free update. Fishing Simulator, thrilling. They did just release this one, Crime Scene Cleaner, which is apparently a good one. However, it's not a good one in the sense that it's a game, per se. It's good in the sense that compared to the other 313 games that Playway have released, it doesn't suck. That's why it's got overwhelmingly positive reviews. And it's just cleaning. It's, it, it's literally just chores. That, that's all they give you is chores for $30 a game. Th these guys absolutely suck ass. Now, if I go over it out of their gross page and I try and look up Gas Station Simulator, because I keep coming back to this game. I keep coming back to this game, and then I'm reminded over and over again of why I shouldn't be playing it in the first place. We go over here. Car Junkyard. Pretty sure that's a DLC. Yeah, it's a DLC for Gas Station Simulator. Winter Survival. Never heard of it. Still 30 bucks. Where is it? Yeah, Gas Station Simulator, 30 bucks. Their DLC, 20 bucks. That one's lazy. Food Truck Simulator, for the love of God, my guys. Like, they're not pumping out nearly enough games to just get away with shovelware, which is all Playway is, essentially. They, they strike gold every now and then, but ultimately what Playway is is shovelware. And these guys, they can't get away with it. So let's go and check out Gas Station Simulator's DLCs, because why are they literally offering me all of this crap here? I don't want it. We'll look at their DLC, right? Where do I find the DLC? Should be somewhere around here. Did Steam change? Apparently one friend wants this game. No, I'm not spending $30 on it to get it for them. Yeah, here we go. So, the DLC, Party Time, that's free. Airport Contraband, that's not what we're after. They're kind of, they are leaning into the whole shovelware thing, though, unfortunately. Got to be said. Airstrip. Oh, my God, it was paid. Are you serious? No way. This is paid. There's a crime scene sim that looks really cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is the forensic cleanup one. That's the only one that Playway has that has uh, overwhelmingly positive reviews. Again, the DLC honestly adds nothing of value to the game and it forces you to play it before letting you through a majority of the rest of the game. Fact. That is a fact. What has the developer said in response? Uh, the whole quest system has been changed a couple of months ago, which allows you to switch between DLC and base game quests. In other words, you can freely finish the DLC quest line as soon as you feel like you're ready to do so. You can only finish a couple of quests from the DLC, quickly switch to the base game, and come back to the DLC later on. No, you can't! No, you can't! It's not doable! You literally can't do that! Uh, very interesting update. It gives lots to do, but the cost of running the airport is higher than the rewards of running the airport. Fact! And the old blind pilot that keeps crashing just gets old. Fact. That is an objective fact right there. I would be lying if I say that this DLC is bad. Also be lying saying it's good. The mechanic of air trade is kind of cool. It, no, it's not. It's a single lazy screen. It could have been an email. For the love of God. The adding of booster cards. That's kind of cool. I do like collectibles added. But again, you shouldn't have to pay for that. You shouldn't have to pay for collectibles. I love the gas station simulator, so I obviously had to get all the DLCs as soon as I could, but I've restarted my game once already after 50 hours plus of work because the DLC is super buggy. Fact! It breaks most of the time. Very good. Oh, that's funny. I'll, I'll leave a little funny review on that one. DLC, oh, it's nothing of value to the game. Yep. Oh, that's a different review. I thought that was a repost of the same one. Zero out of five Gucci mains. This DLC causes the egg to crash a lot. That is, we did crash. The game did crash already in this stream alone, just because of this. I promise this is great. The execution is terrible. Fact. Yeah. Yitzin, my guy! I'm the Great Pepperus, is here once again, but I can't hear, be here for long because I have school in like half an hour and I'm tired. So sorry if I don't talk much, but I still have to wake up a bit, but hey. Hi there, Pepperus. I was just ranting about how crap this DLC is, and it's paid. Oh my god, I cannot believe it's paid. I love the best game, but I can't remember the recommend the DLC. The only thing it does is create a walking simulator environment with a very heavy time crunch. That is exactly what I said. Exactly what I said. The trains don't seem to be worth it aside from completion. Also, exactly what I said before I even launched into the DLC. Price-wise, it's fair. No, I would fully disagree with that. Yeah, look, here's the thing, right? Price-wise, it is fair, but I would only recommend getting this only if you were planning to show support. It sandbags the game. 
It literally sandbags the whole game to own it. If you want to show support to the developers, literally give them money. Do not buy their games. Send them money. This is, like, come on. It, it literally impedes your progress in playing the original game that you wanted to play to, by owning this, this DLC. What was that German one? Hello, hab mir das sehr strip DLC gehört habe, wenn ich es in game starten mocht, sit, uh, das ich uh, das kaufen soll. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, it's not working. I don't speak a lot of German, but definitely speak that much. Right, so, unfortunately, I hate to say it, the developers have probably stopped me from playing this game again. <sighs> Happened to me before? It's insane. Yeah, it has. It has definitely happened to him again. Oh! Oh! I'm literally at a dilemma. Do I dump 20 hours into playing the DLC that I physically do not want to play? Like, this is the only thing in the game that I do not actually want to engage in. Just so I can see the rest of the game. Or do I do it privately? Which means that the gas station itself will still tick along in the background. Right? So we'll also skip everything else. It doesn't feel good. It, it, it just, it feels like a kick in the face. If, this is probably one of the most creator hostile things I have seen a game developer do. And then for them to insist that it's finished, but not allow you to change the key binding to change quests, and then by default, keep it unbound, makes no sense. What crack were they smoking? I mean, this, like, this is fine. There's that same cop who was really struggling before, right? Come on. On your front. On your front, Ossifer. Bye-bye. Well, that was weird. The cop just honked his horn at that guy for cutting him off, even though the cop was upside down a few seconds ago. <sighs> okay. I... F <clears throat> I feel like I've seen enough. For now. I might come back to this. But every single time I've fired this game up since that DLC came out, the game has made me incredibly angry. In fact, I should probably just choke the chicken, right? People have been people have been telling me that I, I need to de-stress a little bit on stream and not get so angry. So I'm, I, I, they recommended that I start choking the chicken and squeezing the hog, so. So I'm going to try that out a little bit. It does kind of help. I wouldn't say it's like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a fix for the issue, but it definitely helps. What if I choke the chicken and squeeze the hog at the same time? That's nice, actually. That is nice. That makes me feel significantly better. <sighs> Until I remember that I'm still playing the game. Ugh! Hey, pal, here's a DLC for 75 bucks. Enjoy. Drop kicks you in the face. Yep. That's pretty much it. Okay. What time is it? A bus four. I actually have to go. I have to go. Um, I need to de-stress for a few minutes, and then I have to go pick up Yint Set, because uh, she is ending work soon, and I've decided that I really need to see her. <laughs> okay, are we all okay with this? So, I'll record an outro for this. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Gas Station Simulator that I have raged at, and right up here, you're going to find another more calm playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video of Serenity, you're going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community personally. And of course, until I make the next episode or you catch the next stream, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!